Čím je dočkáš tým PPTM Games? Vítam vás, že do Kine, do Fajná sezón. Všetkým očinku, Clementine. Vešva. Čo si svoj vyprávať? Švendáči. No i tiež viem, že jednak Švendáče ešte prenajú čoľnostke človečenstva, tak môžem povedať. No ale zobaczymy, czy uda nam się też znaczy wyciągnąć do statku i czy ratujemy naszą ekipę, się okaże za chwilę. A na początku odcinka także zaraz do nastawienia opeczki, mówię o komentarza, życzymy jego oglądania, bo to lecimy z tematem. <coughs> I mean, he's tough. Not like you, though. He doesn't kill monsters, but he's not scared of them either. He's cool. Hey, Clem. Willie told me the plan. How'd things go with that guy? James. He agreed to help us. If somebody told me we were gonna sneak onto a boat and a herd of walkers, I'd call them crazy. What are you doing with those? Oh, well, I wanted to throw one last hoot nanny before the big fight. Swear? Huh? It sounds like a swear. No, it's just another word for party. Right. I know it sounds strange, throwing a party, but people need something to lift their spirits right about now. This could be our last chance. Mm. I wanted to make some tea for everyone. Could I borrow your little heater thing? And what what I we need to pretty up the old music room. Could you make us something colorful to hang up? Okay, I'll be an artist. I'm gonna make the deck, uh, the decor, decoration, a decoration for the party. Okay, I'll get the heater. Ja podróżowałem, nawet nie wiedziałem o tym. Eee, podróżowałem, aha, o to chodziło. Dobra, 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 dobra,
i z drugiej strony się martwię, też żeby tak nie było. No ciężko, nie wiem, wiesz co się wtedy stanie, nie wiem, może to jest najbardziej optymalne, takiego się nie stanie, ciężko powiedzieć, co nie? Może jest świat zombie, tego, tego się nigdy nie przewidzi. Może być teraz, może być za 5 lat, za 10. To może nie nastąpić nigdy, ale musi być, jak to się mówi, ten wątek niepewności. Ta cząstka niepewności. Więc nie wiem, wówczas cię zjem, poleśmy cię wówczas, nie wiem, dosłownie, czy to będzie znowu jakoś tam wywinie się temat, że zjem go i on też się zdanie zombie, czy będzie zjedzony przeze mnie. Nie wiem, wiesz co się stanie wtedy? Wtedy stanie. I nie to mi pali. If I get bit, you know what has to happen. I don't want to talk about this anymore. But you brought it up, so we're going to. It does something weird to my stomach, like I'm going to get the dookies. <sighs> AJ, I need to know you remember what we talked about. What you're supposed to do if it happens. <coughs> Listen to me. If I get bit, you'll... Shoot. No. No, I'm not gonna do that. AJ, you promised. I don't care. I'm not gonna shoot you. If you get bit, I'd want you to bite me too. Well, shut up. What? You don't mean that. I don't wanna be alone. Please don't be mad. I can't live with you not with me, Clem. I know we've talked about it. So much. Yes, this shit. Don't make me. Alvin Jr., you know you're not supposed to talk like this. You're too strong and too brave. I don't think I am anymore about this. Yes, you are. You are, okay? <sighs> you can't break promises, AJ. I know. You're not letting this go, are you? James said... <sighs> Guess not. That we could be around when we're monsters. Like on the inside. If you got bit and then bit me, then maybe we'd still be together. It would just be a different together. We might even be okay. You think so? Let's say James might be right. That monsters have part of the person they were still inside them. The thing is, no one can prove that. And if we can't prove it, we're not going to risk our lives over it. Can I go patrol for a bit? Before the party? Sure, go ahead. Be careful. Hi, Louis. I'm going on patrol. So, patrolling's a thing? Mm-hmm. Patrolling's a thing. Tam Luis. I was wondering. Well, I can't help but thinking. Not it's true. just you and Violet are close, like really close. Yeah, we are. You shot that raider who grabbed me, but you saw them take Violet too, which means you could have saved Violet and not me. Why? Why would you me this? I'm trying to do what I want. I mean, I wouldn't have picked me. Hell, I don't know anyone who would have picked me. If anyone can survive being kidnapped, she can. I probably wouldn't have even made it to the boat. They would have killed me halfway through the woods. Yes, I didn't mean it like that. It's okay. You're not wrong. I know I'm always teasing her, trying to get her to do that one eye roll she does. You know the one, where it's like, you're such a dumbass, she has to do a full body eye roll. I do it because when I actually do manage to make her laugh, it's worth it. If I needed her, she'd be there. Meet Cleaver in hand, ready to chop someone in half if it meant protecting me.
Hey, we're going to get them back, Louis. Yeah, damn right we will. Hey, Clem! <laughs> wow, where did you find a beach ball? It was in some garbage behind one of the dorms. I had to blow it up and, and that was pretty gross, but look, it works. <laughs> I should start heading back to the admin building. Hmm. It's cool, right? Super cool. <laughs> back! <laughs> You're terrible. Hey! I love you, Clem. I love you back, kiddo. <sighs> okay, we better get ready to go. Sounds like they need us in the music room. Okay. Cool, man. It's like we know each other. Not too chingo. Then we have to climb the way of Nim. Not that Nim, but my dad. No. We still need to figure out lighting, music, and something to write on that banner. If we're gonna die, we should have some fun first. Music? You gonna play the piano all night? God no. I want to actually attend this thing. Then how? You've never seen a record player? Wouldn't be a party without some kind of mood lighting. I've been going back and forth between colors for ages. Green is calming, but purple might be nice. Hmm. <coughs> well, purple was my dad's favorite color. I read somewhere purple was a color of royalty. And that describes us exactly not at all. I'll make it happen. Look, check this out. When you <coughs> turn <coughs> there, it plays music. Any kind you want. Pulled out the old headmaster's gramophone so he could play some records. Not much of a selection, but it should do. Just mm. tell me what you want to listen to. Country. Um, maybe something country? That's my favorite. We are all very surprised. But I still have you using the banner for some kind of party theme? Mm, not exactly. It's meant to be more motivational. I'd keep it short, though. There's not as much room as you think. I was thinking something Hi, Jim, was it? like, we're gonna get through this. AJ, why don't you come up with something? Really? I have an idea. It'll be a surprise. Okay, mm, you. Have ten, break out his paintbrush and ride it out. This place is gonna look great. Oh, and Willie was asking for you. He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise for the party, but he wanted to show it to you first. <laughs> hey, Clem, check it out. I found a bunch of books on ships. Mm -hmm. There's some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff. The key is the boiler. Wait, what are you talking about? Russia. I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. And from hurting anyone else ever again. We're gonna blow up the boat. It's the only way to make sure they don't come back. Besides, it feels right, you know? For Mitch. I don't want to uh, discourage you, but we're gonna be on that boat to rescue the others. Please, don't get us killed. What? No! I mean, yeah, I still have a few details to work out, but don't worry. I'll make sure there's time for you to get off the boat before she explodes. Trust me, this'll work. We'll be okay. Okay, everybody, get ready to boogie. And, um, 
Clem. I'm sorry for before. About how he treated Ten. So I never push you. Don't get so angry. I know it's not his fault. That's nice, Willie. But don't tell me. Tell Ten. To nie twoja wina, że mu ci jeden wypuścił. Życie. O, jak ja idzie sobie i bija. O, Kisio. Great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. But just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. Mm. I guess I'll mingle. I see you two are working together. Yeah, Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Actually, ah, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it something cool. I mean, I think it deserves a name. Yeah, we absolutely have to name it. I thought you'd make fun of. Oh yes, I thought that was the way to me. That we have more than they have in their age. I'm imagining that she mentally, in this way, visually, looked like a five. Więcej nie ma. To, to naprawdę jest dzieciaki jak nie wiem co. Ale nie ludzie nic ciekawe, tylko tak ogólnie mówiąc, nie? Me, but hell yeah! Let's name this fucker. That's John Wu. Mitch's masterpiece. Yeah, I like that. Mitch would have too. Okay, then it's settled. I found them. Okay, Clementine. These here are our official Erickson psych evaluations and probationary reports. Okay. I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. Uh huh. And how we got stuck here for as long as we did. So what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, we might as well know who we really are. So, I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits uh -huh. the bill. I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This'll be the first one. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. Oh, good time. Yeah, Marlon. Not to speak ill of the dead, but that sounds exactly like Marlon. Yeah, I guess it does, but no. I thought it wasn't him. That's Ruby's file. <laughs> Holy shit! Really? Guilty as charged. Our sweet Ruby here was kind of a nightmare when she first showed up. Ooh. She once chased the home ec teacher around the yard with a barbecue fork this big. No way. <laughs> Don't worry. That was a long time ago. I mean, I can totally see it. <laughs> the first time I met Ruby, she was all. That little motherfucker. <laughs> I said I was sorry. You guys want to know why I got sent here? Dude, no. Chronic masturbation. Mm -hmm. Willie, I speak for all of us when I say nobody has ever, ever wanted to know that. What does that mean? Ah, uh -uh, don't you dare. Uh, anyway. <laughs> A sobie Clementine to ty się to skąd miała tutaj żyć? Mm, tak patrząc, nie? No wiadomo, z wiekiem trochę to przychodzi pędzej, ale... Ani mi się jeśli nie, ale... 
Maybe we should change up the music? What? To kurwa. Wychodzi na to, że coś jest. Nie wiem, kurwa, na około 6 lat. 8 lat miała kremy, nawet 14, 15, no może więcej nawet jest czasu, już epidemia już jest. I. Um, nie no więcej, bo będzie ma gdzieś na nic zawsze 5. 5. My go mieliśmy w której drugiej części? AJ-a? Tak. W drugiej części było 18 miesięcy. No to masz 16 już, panie Clementine. Tak, 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 I didn't realize how many of us we lost. Remember that Justin guy? And Theresa and Jasper, that one girl with colored braces, and Joey, Maddie, Lamar. Erin. She had the braces. Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stephanie. Holy crap, how many of us died? 34. O kurwa, 34 ludzi nie żyje. Ja pierdolę. Whose is it? Violet's. Should we read it? I, uh, I, I could tell you guys my story instead. What got me sent here, I mean. Only if you want. It's... Not great. No, I was Benji. hoping you'd tell me. So, my family was stupid rich. Parents gave me everything I wanted when I wanted it. Except for one thing. Singing lessons. God, I begged my dad, told him I wanted to be a real musician. But all he said was, you get to be happy or you get to be rich. Can't be both. I know now that he was just trying to teach me a dumb dad lesson, but I hated him for that. So I decided I'd teach him a lesson. I thought, I'll break up my parents' marriage. That hurt real bad, right? So... I broke into my dad's credit card accounts and made all these purchases in his name. Did this for over a year. Oh, wait This is how rich we were. He never noticed he was spending a fortune on a mistress that I'd made up for him. But I made sure my mom did. Sent her all the receipts for the hotel rooms, the jewelry, all of it. They had a fight all night long. He denied it. She wouldn't have it. I sat in the corner and cried to help it feel more real. When their divorce was final, I told them the truth. I said, you get to be happy or you get to be rich. You don't get to be both. Oh. You know, those two would have been happily married forever, but then I had to go be a vindictive fuckhead. I came here the week after. Yeah, okay, so that's pretty fucked up. I'm in complete and total agreement. They said we were bad people, Clem. They weren't wrong. Still, none of us deserve to be ditched out here in the middle of the forest by the people that were supposed to make us better. Sorry, this was supposed to be fun. I guess I'm not really a game person. Don't beat yourself up. You said it yourself. Clem needs to know who she's leading into battle. Hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared? Of course I remember. 
I helped compose it with her. Could you maybe play it for us? If I was here, she could sing the words, but... Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to, Ten. Yep. All right. This is for you, Minnie. Je sais, je sais, tac. Tu vois, c'est sûr, ça va bien se passer. Fajnie. Ja państwa. A ci będziemy kończyć odcinek, więc dzisiejszy musimy to byłby tylko tyle. Jeśli takie już nie ma przyspadowa stacja, kreatura, komentarz, linki, zadania i trzymajcie się z tego odcinka. Na razie, cześć.